Hi guys, Anthony here from the Hot End. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the more advanced features of Simplify 3D that a lot of people just don't know exist. And some people say, well a lot of people say, why do I need to spend all this money for Simplify 3D when there's Cura or there's um, Slicer or whatever the other ones are called. I don't use them and I haven't used them for so long I just forget their name. Um, not free bashing but you'll see why. In this example I have six simple 40mm uh, test cubes. Now there's nothing special about this, there's six cubes, it's, any printer can do that, any slicer can do that. Um, but what I've done here is, over here you can see that I have six processes. So I've assigned a separate process per part on the actual uh, build platform. So what that means is, I'll go to prepare to print so you can see what I mean. Each one of these models, I've told it to do a different layer height, I've told it to do different infill and a different exter uh, exterior fill on each particular one all at the same time. I don't think anything else can do that and I've never seen anything that can. Um, let's get into how I've done it, hey? So, you can see I've got the six cubes on the top left and I've got the six processes down the bottom left. Process 1, down the bottom you've got this select model button. Uh, by default it'll all be selected, so it's selecting everything on your um, build plate all at once. So because we're going to do some sneaky stuff, we're going to tell it we only want this particular first cube. So I've already done that, so I'll hit cancel. Now what that means is everything we do in here is only going to apply to the one part on the printer. So in here I've got layer height set to 0.1 or 100 micron. I've got uh, all the infill percentage I've left the same for everything. But uh, the internal fill pattern on this one I've got set to grid. The external is rectilinear. Um, so basically all I've done is, as an example, I've set each one of the parts to have a different layer height, different external fill and a different internal fill just to prove the point. You could also do um, different speeds, basically any setting you'd like, you can have different per part on your build platform. Okay, so process two, I've got at 150 micron or point, uh, 0.15. The infill, I'm using rectilinear, and on this one I'm doing a concentric uh, exterior fill. Process, uh, click on the right one. Process three is 200 micron. Triangular infill pattern, uh, rectilinear exterior or external fill. Process four, 250 micron, 0.25. The infill I'm using wiggle. The exterior or external fill I'm using concentric. Now, uh, some of you may or may not know, but I, I've got the feeling Wiggle is more of a bit of a novelty fill. I can't see how it has any structural integrity to the parts. Um, I might do another video comparing each one of these six cubes uh, with a load test or see what point they fail to see which, which of the fill patterns has the strongest um, structural support. And again, on each one of these processes, don't forget to manually select model and then pick the model that you're dealing with. Okay, so 5, 300 micron, 0.3, fast honeycomb, rectilinear uh, external fill, and uh, obviously cube 5. Process 6, I have cube 6. This one is uh, 350 micron, which I've never actually done anything at that low resolution before, so we'll see how that goes. That'll be interesting. The infill I've got to full honeycomb. External fill pattern is concentric. Now, while this is playing, you can probably see up in the top left-hand or right-hand corner, I haven't decided yet, 
Um, I'll put in a video of um, it printing while I'm talking so you can see that it, it actually works and it's not just BS. I'm also filming a time lapse too so if enough of you want to see that just put it in the comments below and then I'll um, I'll uh, put up a time lapse of the print of these six. So the um, advantages of this are pretty substantial because what this means is if you've got a large complex model on your um, build platform you may want uh, the base to be pretty strong so you can tell it to do I don't know the first um, 10 or 20 mil at 80% infill and a lower resolution to give it some more strength and then progressively as you go up the model you can tell it to drop the infill um, where it doesn't need the structural support you can also tell it to increase resolution on the parts that need the precision and drop back the um, print or the layer height on um, parts that don't really matter so that is an awesome feature of this software which again I've never seen before um, you might have seen Joel or 3D Printing Nerds video where he did something similar except he had these different processes set up to start and stop on different layer heights so the first uh, I don't know 20 layers he did of one infill type the next 20 a different infill type and so on and that's basically what I'm showing here except here you can do six different things all at the same time all with different settings now another thing to note is when we do prepare to print here it's going to ask you which process you want to use so you're going to need to select all of your processes otherwise it's just going to do the one or whichever and uh, here it'll say continuous printing layer by layer which means it's going to do it all at once sorry about that it's going to do it all at once and uh, sequential printing means it's going to do object by object so that means it's going to print one cube and then it'll print the next and then the next and the next and the next and the next um, the dangers of that are if you got one cube there printed when it starts the next and you've got a probe or something on your hot end it may well knock the other part so I wouldn't recommend doing that continuous layer by layer means um, as you'll see here it's going to start at the bottom and then do what it needs to do on each of the different prints so if I hit play here you can see it's going to do the basic um, the basic exterior fill on each one of these models there's the concentric can I speed that up anymore? Then when I skip through a bit more, you can see that the different infill patterns are starting to emerge. So down the bottom left, I believe, is uh, grid. Top left is triangular. Over here is uh, rectilinear. The wiggle. Wiggle. Uh, this top right is the full honeycomb. The bottom right is the, um, the fast honeycomb. So we'll skip through a bit more. And if I zoom in, you should be able to tell the actual layer layer height difference as well so that looks rather large and then we just step progressively down and that's got to be a hundred micron and then if we move around the models You can see each one of these has a different layer height. There's where it's going to do its layer change on each thing. And um, yeah, so basically six different objects printed simultaneously with six different settings um, per object. And that, that that's awesome and that's got a lot of potential to be very powerful for the larger prints in particular or prints where you're doing where you're filling up the whole build plate. Um, if you're doing a part that's can, that's made up of, I don't know, five individual parts, you can spread them out way over your build platform so it's not going to knock it, and then tell it to do one, and then the other, and then the other. Uh, a lot of people will find that when you do a large, like fill up your build plate, uh, if one fails, they tend to all fail because it's going to drag it around the bed and wreck the next one and so on. But if you can do part by part, 
um, the chances of that happening are much lower. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I hope you found this informative. Um, I certainly had a lot of fun making this one because it was a new new feature that I haven't used before. If you wish to support the channel, I do have a Patreon account. The uh, link to that's in the description. I also have an Amazon Associates or Affiliates uh, link and that's in the description below. And what that means is basically everything you buy on Amazon, uh, a small percentage, next to nothing, comes to the channel and helps us buy more filament and um, more goodies to show and tell and show off. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I highly suggest you subscribe because there's a big contest coming up very soon. I can't say too much yet until it's confirmed, but there may be a, a free 3D printer giveaway coming up. So I urge you to please subscribe to be in the running for that. That'll be coming up soon. Um, hope you enjoyed this again. I shall catch you on the next video. See ya.